Good evening, everyone. I am filming this at God. I don't want to look it up because basically it's early. Mo it's basically late night, early morning, and I can't sleep because I've just been thinking a lot. You know, it's been a weird week. Like not a full week, but it's like uh, just it's it's weird because like these two things. I've watched like two things, right? Uh, one was a movie that I went to see. Another one was just an episode that aired like. Uh, not too long, that, like, you know, not just a few hours ago, and both of them had something to do with, uh, sort of, like, my, not, I don't know, my, my identity, I guess you could say, but, like, basically, they are, they are related to, like, um, in some way, to like the whole uh, transgender uh, kind of thing and like you know issues with it and like issues with like um, how society sees uh, um, sees it or rather um, certain tropes that are continued being continued to be used uh, that don't exactly help people who deal with that sort of thing and first thing that happened was I went to see Box Trolls, you know, because, like, because uh, you know, I went to see, like, I wanted, I wanted to go see Box Trolls. I heard, I, I still haven't seen Paranormal. I heard Paranormal was really good, and uh, uh, Coraline was really good. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna go see Box Trolls, and I ended up getting pretty pissed, <laughs> and it's uh, for uh, for two reasons. One, the movie wasn't funny. Like it was still imaginative and creative, and the stop motion effects were really cool. It's just it wasn't funny, and it was, it, it's basically like, you know, kid humor, it seemed, it, like, the humor seemed to be for kids who have never watched anything bef up before up to that point, like, like, because it had the whole, because, like, uh, the plot had, like, you know, you know, a uh, kid being, you know, you know, a kid being raised by box trolls, and of course, he's a, he's, he thinks he's a box troll, he doesn't, doesn't know what it's like to be a human, so it's like, he's trying to, it's so like, he's trying to, like, uh, get, Get uh get like uh the the people of the other world to stop um instead to stop hunting down box trolls, uh by befriending uh, this one young girl, and then trying to, and then like showing up to a fancy party and of course he, <laughs> bumbles around it's like he uh gets you know some, uh, fancy you know proper fanciness wrong like you know stuffing his face full of food or being really awkward with with other guests it's not funny, it it it's not funny it's I've seen it done before and it wasn't funny then. It's embarrassing. I don't know why. I... It's not my kind of humor, to be fair. Uh, to be fair, it's not... It, it's not my kind of humor. It's just not something I find funny. So, it's just... I don't know if it's just a British thing or... I, I don't know. I, I think... I think I remember, like, some... some TV show making a joke about that. About Brit about what British basically just summing up what Brit British humor is and it's just people like you know being awkward around around fancy people or whatever. But anyway, now the thing that pissed me off was um, the villain, like the very slimy villain, like and you know before the villain, the, the villain uh, played by his name's the character Snatcher, but he's played by Ben Kingsley. Uh, he's He's actually a really creepy villain. Like at first, it's it's like ooh, it's, he's he, it's like he's likably creepy. He's likably villainous. It's like you like him, you like him, you find him, uh, you find it fun to watch because he's such a slimy asshole. But then, but then what happens? And he's like he's like an exterminator of box trolls. Uh, but then it's revealed that he's basically a crossdresser. Like he crossdresses as like. As like this other persona, as like Madame Frufru, who's like this performer, who's like this beloved performer at, uh, and actress in the town, and is like a um, and is like a uh, not uh, an almost and is almost like a sexual icon in the town too, because even like the the members of the city council, including uh, including the um, the girl's dad, uh, is really is attract is attracted to her. To her. And it's like, and it's like she's the one, that, and then like uh, Madame Frufru is like uh, tell you know at, at, at like this big celebration like tells like the story of like the of like how the box rolls uh, uh kidnapped this baby kidnapped this baby uh, and then ate him and then ate his dad that kind of thing. 
spo and spoilers, the, the, the kid is the baby in, the, in this case. But it's like, and then like, so it's like, okay, so cross-dressing villain, okay. It's, it's been done too many times for me to really, it's been do done too many times for me to find it. I don't get it. It's been done too many times for me to really find it surprising, but it's kind of sad. Um, but then, like, later on, it gets a bit, it gets a bit more... I don't know what it is with British people and um, cross-dressing. I don't know what it is about British comedy that, that I don't know what it is about uh, that finds it funny, but... I probably would have a better time with this if I had a prepared statement. Or if I didn't already get you know, most of my system out of most of this out of my system like the days before, but the reason why I find I find this irritating, like having the villain be also like this cross dressing uh, kind of person, right? Be a, a cross be a cross dresser is because you know it's a it's a common trope. Like First you have like this really creepy villain, and then you make him even creepier by putting him in a dress. Ooh. I I don't know what I don't know what the theory behind this is. Like either, either like you put him in a dress to make it feel more other, to make it feel like you know a bit more unsettling, or you put him in a dress to make it to to take the edge off to make because oh they're trying to be threatening while wearing a dress. I don't know what the theory behind this is. I, I don't know what the comedy out of this is supposed to be. And it doesn't help that it also kind of um, perpetuates this idea of the deceptive deceptive cross-dressers. Like, the only reason why uh, anyone cross-dresses is, is to just mess with someone. Like, that's not that's not what's being said, obviously. They're, that's hopefully, hopefully that's not what, the, what they're intending. God help us if they are. But... The thing is, this is a very common trope. Like, this is this was this like this was the like uh it's a very common like uh for, like I think I haven't seen a lot of Bugs Bunny cartoons in a while, like not since Cartoon Network stopped airing them, but like uh from what I've from what I've seen, like a uh, Bugs Bunny like cross dresses quite a bit. But it's usually a disguise to fool someone. And there are usually some, and there are also, and there are a lot of cases where a lot of um, um, tr um, cases in like certain in like certain shows and stuff that use this that use this trope like uh, or like or like a man is trying to or like you know some male character is trying to mess with another male character and so they dress up like a f uh, less, like a female to try and seduce them and then psych poof, and then that kind of thing. So, and the thing of it is, there's more cases of that than there are of actual portrayals of transgender people. And the thing of it is, um, and I, I don't, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like a, uh, I'm not really, to be fair, I'm not exactly, um, I'm not exactly a professional person to talk about this sort of thing, but it's, it's a trend that does not help. If there's a thing, it's basically a trend in movies and TV shows that it, it it doesn't really help at all. Like on the one hand, like on the one hand, um, the whole deceptive crossdresser thing, it doesn't help actual people uh, who who crossdress, who either crossdress or identify as a gender other than the one that they were assigned at birth because for people who are uninitiated for people who don't know about this sort of thing for people who don't watch um shows with who, with actual like portrayals of transgender people or like they probably would have seen like you know some Bugs Bunny cartoons with or they they probably would have seen something like a cross-dressing kind of thing right and they probably would have seen something like Ace Ventura and that uh, for some that might have been like one of their only, um, one of their only um, ways of looking at it because that's the only thing that they've seen that kind of relates to what is what what's being talked about when someone says something like that. 
It also doesn't help that, you know, transgender people are also um, getting killed by bigoted assholes. It's a touchy subject. Um, that, the, yeah, murders, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, whether or not, but whether or not, one of the, whether or not the trends in media, um, help, uh, um, encourage that, probably not, like, not, not causality, like, there's no, there's probably no, no causation, but correlation, maybe. It's just, and it also doesn't help that it's like the whole like you know oh a man wearing a woman's clo a man wearing women's, women's clothing isn't that funny? It's not funny to me. Okay, because I like you know what I have I I bought my skirts I love my skirts okay I love wearing them because they're 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 comfortable and they I I actually feel like I'm expressing myself when I wear, when I wear those skirts, okay? So it's like, so when I constantly see these, so when I see these tropes and, you know, used, I don't, I don't like it. Because I feel like I'm being insulted. Obviously, they're not personally insulting me. Obviously, they're not trying to insult me. At least I don't think so most of the time. But... That's just kind of how I feel. So, so but Box Trolls was not a movie I liked. It was not, uh, and actually it's kind of sad, but um, because of the whole, like, um, the whole, like, you know, cro the deceitful cross-dresser villain, and because of, the, like, just how unfunny the co comedy was, uh, about halfway through the movie, I was taken right out of it. I... And for the rest of the movie, I just did not give a shit what happened. I really didn't care. In fact, I was desperately wanting the movie, movie to prematurely end, just so I could go home. And I had not experienced that since Revenge of the Fallen. And Box Trolls is technically a good movie, or at least a decent movie. Like, despite, despite the things that I took umbrage with, it's still very creative. And very well done, and very well acted, which might make which might make it a bit more frustrating. Because on the one hand, it's a it's a short movie. On the one hand, it's a technically good, good movie, but on the other hand, it still felt long. So, and other things about and other things about Box Trolls I thought was kind of funny was um there was um. Like the like, Snatcher had like these two had like three had like these three henchmen. One of them was like this short stubby guy who basically knew that they were evil and basically and basically resembled the, the Gestapo guy from Raiders of the Lost Ark. And then there was the fat guy and the skinny guy who were both uh, thugs who are basically in every movie ever. Uh, who kind of who often questioned like whether or not what they were doing was good. And then by the end of the movie, had really met a had really met a conversations like really like uh, the first time I saw these guys I immediately thought of the, the bit from the nostalgia critics review of a pound puppies the pound puppies movie where it's like hey lumpy you know how the other day when we were talking when we were talking about how we're like oh I don't know every movie ever the fat guy and the skinny guy were both thugs yeah huh? do you think that, do you think that's a classic throwback to do you think that's just a throwback to like all the classic character development, or just really shitty writing? I picked the latter. And then by the end of the movie, that's actually kind of how they're talking, like, like, gee, this is a really good, gee, this sounds like a, this seems like a really good ending for a story. Yeah, I guess it will be if our lives were a story. Don't know what we do now. And then it get, and then like halfway through the credits, they actually get into this really uber meta conversation where like the camera zooms out, and then you start seeing the the animator like actually physically moving them <laughs> it's like like that me blinking right just there like that took a whole day just to just to uh, just to uh, make that move <laughs> and it's like you zoom out and you actually see the the stage the little stage and the actors it's like haha it's really funny <laughs> it's really fucking funny guys and then and then there's a credit start up again and the skinny guy is still talking and i'm like okay so movie, you have, you, I'm officially 
warned out the welcome of your only likable characters. Because the thing is, Snatcher went from likably evil to just being basically an encapsulation of, of this fucking deceitful crush or trope that I fucking hate. Uh, the, the Gestapo guy was in it. The Gestapo guy was... is just... the fake Gestapo guy, who's apparently voiced by Tracy Morgan, of all people. I recognize him. Nice. But yeah, he was he was creepy. Um, the kids, like... what's her name? Uh, Winnie and Eggs? They're pretty boring, to be honest. Like, to be fair, Winnie is actually pretty close... pretty close to, like, a bit more of a... At least a realistic, like, little girl. Like, she's actually, like, really into, like, you know, like, bloodshed and that kind of thing. It's like, okay. Well done there. But still, not much to them. Not much to those characters. Box trolls, not much to them either, except they're just kind of like the gremlins. Um, the, the, every, every adult in this fucking movie is just a fucking idiot. And, like, the really, the only likable characters were, like, the one, were, like, the Snatcher's goons, because they had, like, a character arc. And Eggs had a character arc, too, but his deal was that, like, like, is he, is he a human or is he a box troll? And I guess you could say he had an existential crisis. But, so, it, it was not a movie I liked, to be honest. Just... And it, I, it doesn't. It didn't help that that day I was having a pretty. I wasn't. I wasn't feeling too good about myself. So I thought, hey, uh, you know, Gone Girl would probably be too too heavy to watch. So maybe I should go see the the kids movie to see if it'll cheer me up. It didn't. It, it really didn't.